Right, welcome back. This is iVideo 16 and this is titled Windows and Doors. Now we'll just do a quick overview on what we've done so far. Uh, floorboards and the uh, lap and plaster that has been done. I'll just remove that out of the way for the second. Uh, the far side, the lath and plaster has been done on that and finished with. Uh, the fireplace, one side has been done, but I originally did it, the, the first fireplace, to go into the actual kitchen. And I have just ordered offline uh, a range or a, a wood burning stove in PE so I'm going to wait until that comes before I build the one to go into the actual kitchen so that's that so what we're going to concentrate on is to actually get some uh, windows in here the simple reason is now is if we put these floors back on like so as you can see, it's pretty dark in there. So, I'm anticipating uh, doing two windows here and two windows on this side as well. Also, the same on the back, two, two, and a door at the back. Now, first things first, I've made some door frames up. Now, these are 60 millimeters high by 36 millimeters wide that is to scale so to actually work out where everything is going to go it is quite simple I'm going to have to change my glasses sorry about that right as you as your door frame is to scale and you've got your bricks to scale as well can we see from there or do we need to bring down a little bit lower Let's try that a little bit better. All we need to do now is the height of the door. door. Now the lintel will sit on two courses above the door. And if you ever look at any type of building, you have the doors and the windows, the lintels all sit on the same height. The simple reason is you're governed by the interior floor and things like that. So what I'll be doing, I will be marking out on this course here to cut out for lintels and the actual doors. Now, I'll just take it back a little bit. Sorry about that. Now I've actually made a template up. There we go, there's my little template. And I've positioned my windows and my doors where they're gonna go. Two of the windows, as you can see, if I drop that to there, are going to virtually go in these gaps where the uh, brickwork is going to be racked back. The other two are actually going to go in either end. Now this is going to allow light through in into this part here. Now I wasn't going to do this as a full, you know, I was only going to do it so you could view from like the front and the side, but. Putting a window in here and having a window, it's going to give you another view into the inside here. And on the back of the actual building, I'm going to put two windows in here, another two in the kitchen and a doorway, which is going to allow a lot of natural light to get in. And also it's going to give another view inside the actual building. So I'm going to go ahead with that. Uh, actually cutting them out, I've already done a video on uh, fitting doors and windows. Uh, I can't remember which uh, I video it is, but it's very, very, very easy. The only thing you just need to do is just remember where to mark out, and that will be the height of your door frame. I will be putting in these. These are lintels. They are the same width as the block, as the brickwork, 9 inch. 
they will be going in above the windows and also what will be going in at the bottom is sills as well so there will be a sill, a window and a lintel above it and I shall cut all the holes first and then I shall come back to you and we'll have a little look so I'll cut all the holes, doors and the windows and then we'll go on to the lintels ok the windows have all been cut out now there was a slight change of plan on the back here when I came to offer the four up two in each room it was a little bit too much so I've just gone with the two one in each and the door we had a tiny bit of uh, battle damage here uh, the top bit because there's only virtually one course between the lintel and the inside there that pinged off but I have the piece and I will glue it back in uh, once I put the lintels in so that's been done all the windows have been cut out and as you can see there's a lot more light inside the rooms now which I'm pleased about so the next bit to do is actually do the lintels now these are the lintels uh, I've already got them cast there's nothing really technical about it we're just going to cut them to about uh, just over a br half a brick uh, overhang either side so we'll have cut the lintel to fit on the top and just glue it in place and the same with the bottom we've we'll got the thin sill to go on the bottom now I'm going to do that all the way around uh, get them glued in and then I shall come back and we'll have another little look and move on to the next bit okay I've fitted the lintels on the front uh, the little bits of uh, plastic that are sticking out I've just pushed them in just to hold it in place while the glue dries nothing too technical so I've got my lintels on in the front I've also put the lintels on in the back and over the door I've also overhung the lintel. I don't know if we can see looking along that edge. Yes, just there. Look. I've over let the lintel overhang outwards a little bit more. Uh, excuse me, that's for when I do the rendering. Because uh, I did notice on a lot of these photographs, the older photographs of the houses, the lintels seem to sit proud for some strange reason. I don't know the reason why but I will replicate that when we come to doing the, the render and if it doesn't look right well we get a big knife and we will cut them off simple as that but they're ready for that now my next task is I'm going to make some windows, window frames uh, because I made some and I didn't use the right width of uh, balsa wood so I'm going to make some new frames uh, because some of these windows will actually be open uh, on a later later stage. So uh, I need to make my my frames just slightly slightly bit bigger. Oh, there we go. And again, slightly bit bigger. Uh, so it'll actually take the windows uh, hanging off and things like that. So that's what I'm going to do next, so I will be back in a little while and we'll have a look what, what it looks like with the windows in. Right, what have I been up to? I have made all the uh, frames for the windows, I've given them a quick coat of uh, burned umber, my favourite stuff. Uh, this side's been done and we go around to the back, I've done the back frames and the door frame. Now these frames will have two individual windows with the three panes uh, of glass in which will be opening inwards. So, But they will be done a bit later because uh, uh, this is just mainly uh, getting the shell fixed and done. So back to the front. I've also put a door frame, if you can see, right inside there underneath the stairs that door frames in saying add a coat of burnt umber just to finish it off and 
All in all, I think that looks not too bad. Not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Now, I was going to try and fit making the stairs into this video, and it's not really going to work because it just, it, I know it's going to take too long. Uh, Well, to be to be honest with you, I haven't really worked out a sensible way of showing you how to make a set, a set of stairs without getting slide rules out and everything else because stairs, they are pretty complicated to build and I'm trying to find a, a way of making them that's not going to be how can, how can I say it? It's, I'm trying to find a way of making them so they're easy to make and not you can, you know, people are not going to think, I can't be asked for that, you know, because that's just, just too much. So I'm working on a couple of little ideas of uh, making it easier and straightforward uh, on that. And I, I know it's still going to take a whole video up, uh, a whole 15 minutes just to to make it and set it out and show you so I'm going to do that on its own uh, actually I, it will be the next video that I will start after this one uh, because I need to start off we, we need to put a landing in the top here so because then the stairs come up I don't know if, if you ever look at stairs you've got stairs coming up and then a small landing at the top and then there's a step up into the next room and also there's going to be two sets of stairs in this uh, because on this half here there is actually going to be a, a set of stairs coming up and into the loft uh, which will have a small landing and a turning uh, it will actually turn up into the loft uh, the reason is because I want to, because this front half is gone, I want to see them sort of the open stairs uh, and the lath and plaster which we did on the ceiling, uh, which will be going on the uh, partition walls that are up here. So that's the next uh, sort of uh, bit. But I will do a video on making these stairs up because then I really, really want to get on with getting the next lift on and getting that sorted so it's all so we're virtually up to roof height because then we need to come back down and get the the walls broken down and then I can work out the actual distance at the top here of, of what's actually going to be uh, destroyed so all in all not too bad uh, bring the camera down a little bit into having a little look in the rooms big paint pot at the back there but they look pretty good I'm quite uh, happy with them uh, the plastered, broken plastered ceilings uh, into this one fireplace which I'm going to fix in next. Well, actually what I should be doing next is I'll be doing uh, quite a bit of fettling. I should be fixing bits around the windows, putting the bits of plasterboard over the top of the uh, lintels and that, and just generally making it ready uh, to start finishing off, putting skirting boards on and stuff like that. So, that's the end of this little uh, little video. I'm sorry it weren't a really uh, exciting one, but it's pushed this little project on uh, quite a way, and I'm quite happy the way it looks. So, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.